Hi there, this is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal, and recently I learned about a new term called homoglyph or homograph. Yes, and this is the article where I learned it from. It says this the past continues to haunt, crooks continue to use homoglyph characters in domain names to hack users. So, how does this work? They use very ancient characters like alpha, like you know, gamma. Uh, symbols that you can call them. So these are characters that look like alphabets. So you see the example that's given here. Facebook is not equal to Facebook. What does it mean? Because that A is different. You see the A on the left, the one in red, it looks like the regular A most of us write. Most of us don't really write the, you know, that, that, that A that's in the fonts, that are typewritten fonts. Most of us write A like the one you see on the left. And these are how some of the hackers use uh, this method. Some of the hackers use to 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 fake websites. Yes, faking is real, dudes. This is really really crazy. So I learned. I went to do a bit of research on what these uh, homo uh, glyph characters mean, and I found more articles that you know homo uh, glyphic uh, hackers you are, are, are very common, and these are very common homographic attacks where they use. Uh, very similar domain names to to fool uh, employees of companies that the boss has given them some special instruction. So, example for this company for called Tracksoft. I mean, this uh, uh, they are a publishing company. There are many ways to to fake uh, the the website. Like replacing the O with a zero is very common. Refla replacing the the A with something else. So these are very very common. Uh, fakes that hackers use. So be very careful before you click certain websites and these are highly possibly phishing websites that would uh, steal our information and you wouldn't want your personal data information so not or worse your bank information and you wouldn't want some stranger or hacker looking into your bank and worse transferring money out and that's going to be really bad. So please be very careful and be aware of this new thing called Homographic attacks correction. It may not be a new thing. It was a new term that I learned that I wish to really inform everybody. So this is Mark Barnabas, your data protection pal. Uh, please click uh, subscribe and like so that you could continue to get more updates on data privacy and data protection. So have a great week, kid, and I'll see you again real soon. Bye bye.